First off, why aren't pedestrians paying attention to their surroundings? Oh wait, I know why! How y'all doing? I'm Big Al and welcome to the garage. Today I've got an interesting uh, topic for you. Should old cars be required to have newer safety technology retrofitted to them? Back on February 13th, Drive ran an article in which NHTSA is considering requiring older hybrid vehicles and older EVs to be retrofitted with pedestrian warning devices. As you know, in recent years, newer EVs, newer hybrid vehicles have a device that makes kind of a whirring sound when they're driving at low speeds. Otherwise, they're practically inaudible, and the idea is to warn an inattentive pedestrian. Um, first off, why aren't pedestrians paying attention to their surroundings? Oh, wait, I know why! I get it. Not everyone can see them coming, yes. I understand blind people, but their seeing eye dog should definitely uh, see that. Um, but the idea of retrofitting this new technology into an older car, I think that sets a horrible precedent. Older cars that don't conform to contemporary safety and emission standards have always been grandfathered in because the cost of retrofitting that stuff would be astronomical for one thing. And second of all, there aren't a lot of those older vehicles left on the road. And the ones that are still on the road, they aren't used for daily transportation for the most part. Yeah, I know some stalwarts do daily drive their classics, but most people don't. We drive them on a sunny day or a Sunday or to and from car shows or on back roads, not in a lot of traffic. So, point of retrofitting in all this net un, all this safety stuff would be so cost prohibitive. I'd have to scrap the car. I mean, should I have to put a rear backup camera on my 2009 Corolla? That would be survivable, but no, it should be grandfathered in, like every other old car. Should I have to put airbags, shoulder belts, catalytic converters, all that stuff into my 65 Corvair? Again, I say no for the before-mentioned reasons. It should be grandfathered in. How many 97 Priuses are still on the road? I'd be willing to wager not that many. The original first-generation Prius, there weren't a lot of them sold to begin with. You don't see a whole lot of Honda Insights from that time period still on the road. The batteries, unfortunately, when they go, that basically makes the car uneconomical to repair. So how many of these vehicles are actually still on the road that it would be that much of a safety risk to people? Second of all, people should be aware of their surroundings. Not just pedestrians, but drivers as well. When you're in that pilot seat, you need to be looking around and not fiddling with the radio or on your phone, especially in a parking lot or those low-speed situations, which are actually quite dangerous. You know, we learn to drive in parking lots, but they're actually one of the more dangerous places to drive. You have people backing out, people pulling in, pedestrians everywhere, sometimes a kid runs off. And they'll do that in front of gas cars that make plenty of noise. So, is this really going to make a huge difference in terms of safety? I say no. But, of course, the ultimate trump card that the uh, safety advocates have is the old but if it saves one life isn't it worth it you know what I'm gonna be the guy that says no it's not worth it the cost of retrofitting this technology would basically force a lot of these ve otherwise perfectly good vehicles off the road you know Brock Yates when he was coming up with the original cannonball run complained about people who Rules being made by people who wouldn't know a good car if it ran them over. I really think that's what's happening today in Washington. So that's it. Let old cars continue to be grandfathered in. Their numbers are dwindling. 
the safety impact would be negligible at best. And it won't accomplish anything except getting these older vehicles off the road completely, which I think is what the government wants. They want to take our classics away from us. We can't allow that Pandora's box to be opened up. So if you care about classic cars, even though this is EVs, you should still be opposed to it. So anyway, that's my rant. That's all for today. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next installment.